in this video I clean up the cheapest VTEC head I could find. So I'm trying to remove the carbon here and as you can see it's actually quite bad. So I'm using a screwdriver to scrape it off and then following up with engine cleaner and a scotch bright pad. Uh, this is what it comes out as. It is quite a bit of effort. Now where I'm from, none of the single overhead cam engines came in VTEC. So the only way to get a single overhead cam VTEC engine would be to probably get one from an engine importer. Therefore these are actually quite rare where I'm from. Next I decided to put the head in some hot water to see if it will loosen up the last of the stubborn carbon buildup in the exhaust runners. This actually helped a lot as I was able to use engine cleaner and the scotch bright pad to get rid of the remaining carbon buildup. I decided while I was busy and had everything disassembled to see if I can use my cheap terminal set to polish the ports. Uh, this is not porting as I'm not changing the shape or diameter of the ports but simply just polishing the surface. Also I won't be polishing the intake ports as they are actually in quite good uh, condition from factory and I do not want to mess with the fuel optimization by polishing the intake ports. I found the exhaust side. The smoother the surface, the better the exhaust will flow. I also tried using some oil uh, WD-40 in the polishing process to see if that would uh, work any better. Uh, it didn't really make any difference. This is what the ports look like after polishing. Here's a view of what it looked like before. As you can see there's a section here at the top that I've already started cleaning. Maybe you can see how much shiny and cleaner the ports are. Now the casting on these are not perfect, as you can see there is some minor imperfections. However, I'm sure if you continue polishing it, you will eventually end up with the perfectly polished surface. However, I am planning to turbocharge this engine, so having perfect ports is not essential. Here's the intake runners and as you can see they are actually much better cast than the exhaust runners. The only piece of cast 
mark I could find was this one here on this intake runner. I did uh, use the Dremel to smooth out that section. Here's a before picture of what it looked like and this is what it looks like after. Next I had to clean up the valves using a wire wheel. This actually made it very easy and quick work of getting rid of that very hard carbon on the valves. Here you can see how much better it looks after cleaning the valves. Next I decided to use the Dremel to remove these cast marks as I'm planning to paint this section of the cylinder to make it look better. For some reason the VTEC head has a very rough uh, surface in the front where the other ones, the non-VTEC heads are actually very clean looking in the front.